Hello everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. So beautiful day here in the Catskills. So when I started this uh, channel a couple of years ago, uh, I did a lot of videos on, excuse me, a lot of videos on Trump. In fact, I have a playlist called The Worst President in American History. Uh, and I always maintain, obviously, duh, and also the fact that he's a horrible businessman, like the worst businessman ever. So anyway, after the election, I kind of got tired of doing those videos, kind of burnt down. I took a little break and I'm like, all right, I'm going to take a little break from all this Trump stuff, you know, now that he's not president, thank God. But anyway, I decided to do a video today. I'm listening to the, what's this called? I'm sorry, PPD Podcast and Cenk Uger. Uger? I always mispronounce his last name from the Young Turks. Big fan of the Young Turks. like him a lot. He sums up Donald Trump. I'm going to play this little clip. And I've always said the biggest con man, Donald Trump, is a con man, right? Terrible businessman. The only thing he has going for him is perhaps marketing. Okay, let me just play this and I'll, and I'll talk. Adriano uh, Valentino from Australia said Trump is an uncontrollable con man, question mark. Yep. Sink, you're a sociopath. The next guy responds and says, at least he's a con man, at least he's not a politician, which is pretty interesting. Well, <laughs> that last one's kind of true. Yeah, at mm-hmm. least he's a profession. Yeah. So so we'll, we'll take call-ins uh, in the last 30 minutes probably, so just stay tuned. And, and uh, Tyler, if you want to put the number there for some people that want to call in in the Super Chats. But let me continue. Okay. So Can I address the con man thing real quick? Sure, of course. I mean... Look, he's been adjudicated and admitted to being a cop. Listen to this. Uh, both his charity and his university were gi- mm-hmm. giant scams, and he had to pay huge fines, $25 million fine, because he was running scams. Almost everything he runs is a scam. 100%. And by the way, does everybody know that he's gone bankrupt six times? Six times, he's count him, awful, six times. Awful businessman. Couldn't manage his way out of a wet paper, paper bag. bag yeah. Biggest dumbass I've ever seen in business. What he did in Atlantic City, it didn't just sink his own companies. He sank the entire city. The entire city. the worst businessmen in American history. Absolutely. By the way, you see the incompetence of the Democratic Party, that they couldn't point out those simple facts when they were running against Let me ask you this. What's harder to do? Okay, be honest. Let's see. I'm really curious to know what you're going to say. You think it's harder to be a senator for 50 years? Or do you think it's harder to be in free enterprise, free market capitalism competition in New York for 50 years? What's harder to do? Uh, well, Trump has proved that uh, the economy is much harder because he went bankrupt. Exactly. So it must be so really, really hard. It's very hard. But, 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 but wait, no, yeah. wait a minute. But the point is, it is, it is a, there's a big difference between me being in the arena and getting my ass kicked, but at least I'm getting in the arena versus being a fan on the outside and I'm booing the guy in the arena. Let's give some credibility to the guy that's got the balls to be in the arena no, fighting. Nope. That was a free market. No, Patrick, I give you credit. I give me credit. Yeah. We're in the arena yeah. and we built these uh, things on our own, okay? So Ben Shapiro, I don't agree with his politics, but he built Daily Wire and it's 100%. a real business now. It's a, I give credit, okay? Crowder, I Smart don't think guy. Big, uh, Same money, with Crowder. And I think he did it on his own. I give a lot of credit. Trump, had his dad hand him four hundred and thirteen million dollars. He's a spoiled. He's a spoiled little bitch. Yeah, okay, kids. and he blew the whole four hundred and thirteen million dollars because he's a moron. I yep. give him zero yeah, credit. Kids. Yes. Okay. When you when your kids when you die mm-hmm. and you have a living trust, you're a smart guy. I'm sure you got a living trust. I'm sure you got all that stuff in place. When God forbid something happens to you and that money and the business goes to them. Are you going to call your kids a spoiled whatever, whatever? Because it, they're going to get your money. No, 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 no. There's a difference. What do you do with the money? Mm-hmm. So if my kids then use it yeah. to do good in the world or to just set up a business, yeah. et cetera, then that's great. If they take it and they go, oh, Daddy gave me the money. I'm going to put my name all over Atlantic City. Watch out for Shiloh, Doc. And then they are spoiled and they... <laughs> make fun of other people while actually not doing anything, not doing the homework. Yep. I can't even read. Jerry, I'd be, listen I'd be exactly. embarrassed if my kids were anywhere near as lazy and He's dumb. Basically as illiterate. They can't nah, read you know what page. I mean. They used to Barely. have the presidential Literally. briefings that were just three, four pages. They had to boil it down to a page. And I know. Oh, because, 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 it's horrible. Uh, because, uh, but because the guy is dealing with so many different yeah. things that That's he true. typically wants to have the one page instead of the 50 mm-hmm. pages. But no, let's Can I make a quick point on Trump? Yeah. Okay, this might shock some of the people. I'm not a Trump fan. I don't know, you know, probably That's don't know what politics. I mean, I, there's a lot of people here. I'm not going to think- play. There's more. He's basically, what's this guy's name? I don't know. But but he says, I'm not a Trump fan, but he's a great marketer. And I'll give him that. He he is good at what he, he gets eyeballs and all that. That's the only thing, you know, being a great con artist. I mean, he is that. No question about it. So, 
Okay, so uh, so I haven't done a, a Trump video in quite some time. I'm still working on the production value of this channel. So, you know, I want to keep it sort of, <laughs> you know, guerrilla style, if you want to call it that. You know, it's just me and my iPad and my phone. But I'm going to try to, like, download videos and some, you know, like maybe graphics and all this. I'm not a really techie person. But I know I've been getting a lot of, you know, complaints. Like, hey, I love the content. It's good, but the production value is not so good. So, anyway, uh, I'll leave it at that. As I said many times, the worst president in American history. Thank God he's gone. He's, he's not running again either. I don't believe so. And if he does, I don't believe he'll win. But I'll do more videos than that. And so we all know that the worst president in American history and also worst businessman. There you go. Okay, Tabor Talk here in the Catskills. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding.